with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Rick Just Anthony. give me the rock. Just give me the rock. Just give me the rock and watch me score. I want to welcome you back to another gaming experience. I'm getting sick and tired of losing. It's just the worst thing in my soul. Consistently. Not if the team works off. I forgot how important team chemistry was. And I came in with a 19%. So at practice, I went to each court, did a workout, so let's took some shots, and I'm not playing anymore. It's a team now. It's the team that handed me the last time. I want my revenge. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. And for Charlotte, out in the wings for them, Rozier and Hayward. Then there's LaMelo Ball. Then there's Rodgers. So the Hornets win the tip. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full one. season, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. not playing, Greg. Play good cool. defense. The experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. And so the Charlotte Hornets get the first points of the ball game. The shot by Williams, no good. Shoots the three. Oh. Rebound by Williams. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Tatum on the wing. Hornets for three. That's enough. Pass to Rogers. And he drives in. The shot. Oh, that's so oh, good. Trash. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Boston. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. Yeah, but as a team, you actually love a win like that's that. That's not it. You're struggling from the field. You don't have your best stuff. Still, you find a way to gut out a win. Well, Doris, he's already a great scorer, and now Tatum has become an incredibly efficient scorer. Well, listen, the great ones are not only about putting up numbers, it's how efficiently you do it. From three, from the free throw line, this guy oh, is so goodness. much more consistent. And yes, he's got the mid-range game that he can go to in tough spots. This guy plays big at the rim. He's everything you want offensively. My defense, now, Tatum. My defense will activate my offense. Pocket six. Williams passes to Craig. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good I like him. Play the center's good. Off there and square up. The Hornets have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Ogier into the lane. The pass to Rogers. And stolen by Tatum. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Ball. Pritchard passes to Craig. Now Tatum to end the cold streak. After That's crazy. Start the game. He's on the board with that shot made. Wow, they finally Started. get it to go down on their fourth try. And now the first time the out here for the Hornets. They defeated the Wizards in their last one. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one, and then they made good adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on, and we saw that in their scoring oh, more no. than anything else. Now, here's Ball. Go, boy, go. Against Washington, he was really on his game. Passes to Rogers. Uh. Inside, Akio. Oh, he smoked it. Shot, and it's good uh. on the way He might assist. Make the shot, boy. To the Come on. And, and where's the help? Defensively. To meet that guy, Chase Tater running all around. On that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And Boston has possession. Following the ah. by Sharp. Very good. Why do you switch yeah, up? A great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Fires for Give me that. And it's good. Three points on the board on the shot from Rogers. Rodgers has got his second basket of the night. Boston trailing. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. 
it, it, it seems odd to say, given that they won that pretty easily, but really, they did not look especially strong in that game. Yeah, you know, I didn't sense any urgency on their part. They did just enough to win, but I don't think they can come away feeling great about the way they did it. And a new group in for the Celtics. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Oh, he hit that? Comes in for Get out of here. Saransky's checked in for Marcus Smart, and it's Baylor in for Pritchard. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. To the paint. Here's Rodgers. Oh. Bridges outside. I didn't know that was coming. Here is Rodgers. Oh, this that's the wrong pass. You know, against Washington. Oh. And you know what? You allow him ah. to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Hornets shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And team stats last season, 74% shooting. So some numbers that they can definitely improve upon. Baylor against Ball. It's the play. Yeah. 106 left in the first quarter. Here's Rodgers. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Well, known for being a terrific passer. Get off my bat, yo. you right there. Case in point. And Zerinsky oh. kicks to Tatum. He's now made it to a four. What a polished score is Jason Tatum. Use your physical gifts and get to work. Ball, the pass to Rogers. Uh, Back to ball. Oubre outside. Pass to Rogers. And the shot money. goes in. Rogers has got nine. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Outside Griffin. He's looking for Boucher and They didn't want this. They didn't want this. Over Bridges. Again, mm, the Celtics good for two. Boucher. What a find by Griffin. He's a lot more skilled as a passer than he gets credit for as far as power forwards go. He has terrific vision. Down low. Pulls up. Off target with the jump hook. Bro, come on. In the books, and it's been a close one so far. Hornets lead by two. And I don't want to see highlights. Come on. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We... So that's who Charlotte starts the second with. And a little over two minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Trust the process. To finish that pass. Celtics trail by five. Here's Pritchard. And Greg has it in the corner. And the three off target. Sure. Yeah. has gone six of eight on three pointers in the game. An outstanding 75% mark. And we've got an update here. So let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Boss in that last matchup against the Wizards put on a show. Uh. He scored 28 points. And the energy he played with was amazing. Willing his way to a double double. His numbers oh, were off working. the charts. That was, he was off though. Unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Well, there's no doubt. He certainly looked like he was enjoying himself in that last game. He had his offense flowing. And we see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it becomes a choice between win now or win later. Though the teams with great coaching and development can oftentimes do both. Six to shoot. Hayward comes with the double team. Williams kicks to Boucher. Here's Craig. Hits the oh, he hit line. that. Get out of here. Craig's got five. 
You know, a guy with that size from the downtown three-point area, no chance for a defender to alter that shot. There's 49 seconds left in the first half. To the paint, Hayward passes to Horton Tucker. Williams mm. with the block. You know, the reach of Williams is outstanding. He uses it to perfection. The defense, boy. Hook Knight, he's checked in for Charlotte. The Celtics also changing it up. Griffin comes in for Williams. And it's Tatum in for Torrey Craig. Rozier looking around. Pass to Rogers. 16 seconds left. Come on, Mo. Come on. Court. Griffin passes to Tatum. Outside for Griffin. Oh, he Good. splashed that. That's tough. Tatum's got three assists Not tonight. Sure and we have seen Griffin do this more. Adapting to the growing trend of bigs. Like oh, him, man. Shooting threes. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. <sighs> so Negative two. B plus great. Not doing well. I'll pick it up. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boss has been sensational. What a welcome surprise that first half. Went above and beyond his usual scoring output. A huge bonus. Boy, when he's contributing like this, it makes everything easier for his team. On the court for the Celtics. In the Jason post, it's Tatum and Williams. Then there's Smart, then it's Torrey Craig, and it's Pritchard in at the point guard. Outside, ball. Here's Rogers. Makes it off the glass. And 11 points for Boss. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. Pritchard passes to Craig. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Ball. Back to Craig. On the pass to Williams. Over Rogers. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Hornets trail. Ball, the pass to Rogers. To the middle. Here's Hayward. Rebound, Boston. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. <laughs> Right side, Smart. It's tough, Passes man. it to Pritchard. Smart kicks to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Rozier defending. And no good. Some solid defense from Rogers. To the inside. Oh, what kind of pass is that big dog? And here is Craig. Five That's points not it. in the game. Tries again. Williams finds Tatum. Back to Williams. Pass to Pritchard. Four on the clock. Got a piece of it. Not That's how crazy. They hoped to start this half. One for five. Brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Oh. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Yeah, you know, simply stated, you have to take care of the Oh, basketball. you got to hit that, that Raj. Position. Come on. A chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. <sighs> I was excited. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch, and that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. LaMarcus Aldridge, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Sadaransky comes in for Marcus Smart, and it's Baylor in for Pritchard. Tire shot. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. We've only got two points so far here in the second half. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Aldridge with it. Inside. Here's Tatum. Give me that. by Rodgers. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. To the middle. Finish that. And then Washington with the dunk. Oh, he, he went for the Shut up, P.J. Washington, bro. Slam, 
Good hooper. Good hooper when he focused, bro. TJ Washington is a good hooper when he focused. Miles Bridges. That dude, I think here these guys can be part of that pillar, man. I'm telling you. And then live with the results. And some changes here for the Celtics. Blake Griffin comes in for Lamarcus Aldridge. Definitely about to give PJ Gordon Hayward's minutes, and Gordon Hayward can be traded. I don't care. Boucher finds Sadoransky. And here is Tatum. Pass to Baylor. Back to Tatum. It from outside. Oh. Tatum's got the game I can't give him nothing, bro. Now, this guy's so good at making great decisions. Jason Tatum on the catch and shoot. That's nice. Here's Washington. I'm telling you, PJ Washington, when focus is a freaking good ass player. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Come on. You ain't get nothing. Outside Baylor. They get it. Oh, he got it. And the shot is good. Jason Tatum's Tatum. got seven points oh. in this 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Boucher against Rogers. And there's the pass uh. to Washington. Well. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. Boy, if that's the last thing they need. This game too close to be making oh, those boy. kinds of errors. And some changes here for the Hornets. Cody Zeller comes in for P.J. Washington. And Booknight comes in for Kelly Oubre. Outside Baylor. Passes it to Sadoransky. Shot clock at six. Back to Baylor. On deep, the putback. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Rogers has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Ah. Zeller pass to Rogers to the left wing. Back to Bridges. It's not even fair. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet, and the Hornets lead by two. Not only a jump shooter, Bridges also the. That's not it. Going how to get it done inside. Three quarters of play. Fourth here. quarter where the money's made, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Check, 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 check ball. Let's take this opportunity now to show you I'm gonna how much lose, bro. Tired of it. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this good pass, pass, baby. Good pass. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. <laughs> And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. All is the point. Oh, with on the wing. I keep smoking it, bro. Bridges, and it's Zeller in the center I position. I forgot this. That's the lineup for Charlotte. I'm leaving money on the court. Tatum kicks to Boucher. To the paint. Here's Griffin. Not here. Rejected by Rogers. Here's Boucher. Oh, he thought he had a friend. Griffin misses the dunk. Knocks it loose. Rogers passes the ball. Here is Rogers. Launches it. And Tatum This is not down. it, bro. Tatum's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first. Get out of here. All the officials are all over that. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Oh. And we're about three minutes into the fourth Frustrated. quarter. Frustrated. Boucher passes to Aldridge. Double team on Aldridge. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. I'm frustrated, bro. I'm frustrated. So it's the Hornets now. Hornets trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. How big might this Marcus sort of mistake Smart. play out? You never know, but sometimes these are game changers. Austin making some changes. Tory Craig, he's checked in for Chris Boucher. Marcus why why is this the matchup? 
And it's Pritchard in for Bailey. Tatum, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just not crazy to do so. Pass to Rodgers. 127 left to play here in the Money. Fourth. It's good. And you want to take in big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to be better defensively. That's the Tatum. We on that. We on that. We on that. Six on the shot clock. There's Williams. The kick out to Tatum. Oh. Uh. Smart on the wing. No. Nailed Dang it. So he just loves seeing a player. Oh. Absolutely no fear. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. Oh, I shorted it again. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Oh. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Tatum. Oh no. The drive. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. Man, you can get chills watching Jason Tatum want to deliver in the clutch. Here is Rogers. Down low. Akio. Oh. Uh. Here's the pass to Rogers. It's uh, nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. From outside, off the mark. And now they decide to foul intentionally. <sighs> and so they foul oh, intentionally. No. Oh. And he drops the first. So we see Boston get the win here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, anytime you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Yeah, really an outstanding effort all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olsen, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. So long. Love, peace, see ya.